Welcome. This is question five from IGCSE paper um, 4 3 from summer 2017. This question, the first part of this question is all about histograms. Okay, we're given a histogram, a complete histogram, and we are asked to complete the frequency table which is associated with this histogram, which is drawn below. Over here, so this is this is the frequency table we have to fill in. The histogram shows um, the weights, or sorry, the masses of 200 letters that some guy called Harun has to post. Okay, so inside this histogram, there are 200 letters represented, and their masses are um, divided into different groups of in unequal intervals, as you can see. So all the letters between 0 and 10 grams are in this, are represented by this bar. All the letters between 10 and 20 grams are represented in this bar, and so on and so forth. So what we have to do is we have to fill out this table, okay, this frequency table, based upon this histogram. Now, what we could realize is that the the y-axis of a histogram does not equal the frequency. Okay, so you can't say there was five letters that he posted which are between 0 and 10 grams. What we need to do is we need to consider the area of the bar. And it's the area of the bar which is proportional to the frequency. And in IGCSE, in most of the cases that I've seen, all of them, it's the area of the bar that is equal to the frequency. Okay, so we can check that here. We can see, okay, the frequency is 50. The frequency density is 5. And the class width is 10. So if I found the area of this bar, it's going to be 10 times 5, which is 50. Okay? So that shows us that it's the area of the bar which will tell us the frequency. Okay, if you want to do it in a more formal way, we know that the frequency density is equal to the frequency divided by the interval. So therefore, if we rearrange that, frequency is equal to frequency density times the interval, which is the height of the bar. The frequency density, which is, sorry, which is the area of the bar. The frequency density is the height, and the interval is the width of each bar. Okay? So all we need to do is to find the area of each of these bars and fill in this table. So we can see here that 10 times 5 gave us 50. So here we've got 10 times 8, which is 80. And here we've got 5, the bar between 20 and 25 is a, it goes up to there, 5 times, now this is 6.246, okay, that's 6.6, .6. so it's 5 times 6.6, .6, which is 5 times um, 30, and 33, I think, let's make sure. 5 multiplied by 6.6. 33, yes, that's correct. Okay. So we have 33 here. The next bar is given to us. We can just check, just make sure. We've got 5 times 3 point... Sorry, yeah, 5 times 3.4. Okay. 5 times... Um, 3.4, and check the answer there, 5 times 3.4, that, yeah, that sounds right to me, 15 plus 2, 17, and then the final bar, we've got 20, the width is 20 this time, and the height of the bar is 1, there's 20 times 1, which is 20. Now, we could have made sure, just in case you made a mistake, they told us that he's posted 200 letters, which means... In total here, there must be 200. So we've got 50 plus 80, which is 130. Okay, 130 plus 20 is 150. And we've got uh, 150 plus, now 32 plus 17 is 50. So 150 plus 50 is 200. So we know that we are on the right tracks there. The total of those numbers must be 200. So that's part A completed. And then I'm going to move on to part B on the second part of this. Play this. 